by the way, this guidance I should mention, how does it refer to in the general sense? You know the, the scholars comment, Hidayah Kauniya wa Hidayah Shar'iya, that there are two kinds of guidance. There's the guidance of creation, that Allah created, for example, the cow and the sheep and insects and birds and whatever else, and the sun and the moon, etc. He created and planned all of them, and then He guided them to do whatever they are created to do. They perform the functions for which they were created for. Another scholar, uh, Rahimahullah, Mufti Muhammad Shafi was commenting on this very eloquently on, on this ayah and he said, you know human beings, we go to school and college or we go to some kind of training to learn certain kinds of skills. What training did the child get when it came out of the womb of its mother that it knows exactly where to go for the milk? And what training did the mother get to produce the milk naturally? Who, create, who guided the body to produce that milk? And who guided the, the child? You know, the, the, a baby, a calf, right? When the, a baby cow comes out, how does it know not to eat worms or anything else, to eat grass? How does it know? How does it know these things? How does it know how to feed from the mother? It's been taught all of these things, this is part of the guidance. So Allah planned the mechanisms. He designed the food for the child in the chest of the mother. He designed it. He intricately designed it. He planned for it. And it came at the right time, but then He guided the child to drink also, right? This is part of the, the hidayah of Allah in the sense of the, the guidance of existence. This is why in Surah Al-Taha we find رَبُّنَا الَّذِي أَعْطَى كُلَّ شَيْءٍ خَلْقَهُ ثُمَّ هَدَى Our Lord is the one who gave everything its existence, who granted everything rather its existence. Thereafter He guided it. Not only did He create it, He guided it. These creatures, they know what to do, where to get their, their, their meals, where to produce their homes. So for example, in, in the case of a namla we find the ant, they know how to produce their home and where to get their rizq and what to do. Allah guided them. And you know, we know that animals don't just eat any kind of plant. They have to eat certain kinds to be able to survive. They can't digest any, just anything. So Allah designs, you know, you have, for example, children, you have to get food for them, right? But who prepares the meals for the bird and for these animals that are out there, human be living things, you have to take care of them, right? Somebody has to provide for them shelter. Somebody has to provide food for them and the kind of food that they can digest. Who's been providing food for these, these creatures since they were created? For thousands and thousands and thousands of years, Allah Azza wa Jal. So he's, he's showing you His intricate design without our planning. You know how, how long we think it takes us to plan to figure out for our food. Every bird leaves its nest in the morning and Allah has a plan for it of where it's going to eat and how it's going to eat. So, وَالَّذِي أَخْرَجَ الْمَرْعَى The surah began, declare the perfection. Right? Acknowledge the perfection of your Lord. And many of the ulama commenting on the language of this ayah say that when the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa acknowledges, acknowledges the beauty and the perfection of Allah's names, that in and of itself starts making His burden light. That starts making His burden light. And when He reflects on the creation, Everything has its time. Everything has been created, everything's been thoroughly planned, everything's been given precise calculation, and then it's been guided. You are no exception. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Look at the pasture around you, it's been created, it grows for a purpose, and then it reaches its culmination. Just like that, you will also be given this revelation, you have nothing to worry about, because this planning is not in your hands, it is in Allah's hands. Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. 